Okay, so we are going to start by doing a text cut video so that we can show print to cut. The very first thing that I need to do is go to my page settings and I'm going to change my work area to letter size. The next icon turns off the grid. I just like having a blank page. The third icon turns on our registration mark and I have registration marks on and my print bleed. I typically keep my print lead bleed at about 0 0.050. So that way that gives us our bleed in our area. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go over to our A to create text. And I'm gonna type the word Caesar. And then I'm going to change this to Cooper Black. Cooper Black is a font that is typically a built-in, so everybody will have it. And from there, I'm going to go down to my character spacing and change the character spacing. And I just need to change it just enough to where all of my characters are touching. And then I'm going to weld those. So I'm going to weld that and to weld, I can right click and weld or go to object modify weld to give me that weld. And that way it's all connected. And I need more than one of these files. So I'm going to select that file. I'm going to go to object and replicate and I'm going to say duplicate above. And I'm going to repeat that again and say replicate and duplicate above. And now you can see I have five of the same files there. I'm going to select the middle one and we are going to go over to our fill panel. The first fill panel we should be used to, it shows you color. The second icon gives you gradient and the third gives you pattern. I am going to choose this argyle pattern. I think it's really cute. It's a nice friendly kind of thing. And then we're going to change colors on the rest of them. And you may not have ever noticed, but this here is our eyedropper. And I can go over and hover over the color and select it and that will make it that color. And so next I'm gonna do the same thing, select. And I'm gonna hover over the green. Go to the next one. I'm going to hover over the turquoise. And last, I will hover over and make that chocolate. So that way I have all the colors that are in that pattern. And I'm going to select the first one here and I want to move that down. I use my arrow keys on my keyboard. One, two, three, four, five and you can select both of those. One, two, three, four, five. And go starting from the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, move it up. And then I can select both of them or you could do them one at a time, whichever is best for you. Now I'm going to select everything and make this a little bigger. And you want this to be within your crosshairs. I want this one in the middle to be the color on top. So I can either right click and say bring to front or I can go to object and arrange and bring to front. So either one of those. You can go over to your sense screen to make sure that your design is within those crosshairs. Before we print this design, I'm gonna show you how to create outlines on a design that's a PNG file. Sometimes you'll buy a design, you'll get a design, and they're not gonna have a cut line because it's not a cut file. So you're gonna to have to create those manually. So the first thing that I want to do is to pull in that image. So I'm going to go File, Open, 
and select that image and pull it in. And you can see that this came in as a really large image. So I'm just going to bring that into a smaller size to get it ready for a printable. And there it is. And the next thing that I need to do is change my layout. So I'm going to go over and change that to letter size. The next icon, I'm going to turn off my grid and then I'm going to turn on my registration marks. And I have my print bleed turned on and I have that at 0 0.050. So that way I have those all turned on. And this is has no cut files, it's a PNG. So if you're not sure, go over to your send screen and you're gonna see that you don't have any cut files. So we need to create those cut files because like I said, this is a cut file, this was a PNG. So the first thing we need to do is go over to our trace and our trace, like I said to me, it looks like a piece of bread with peanut butter and jelly. So that's our trace and select trace area and just draw a box kind of around the area that you're wanting to trace. And sometimes you'll see that parts of it will come in very well. And if it doesn't come in, you're gonna to want to increase your threshold. And I do it a little at a time because you'll notice that you'll see a big change all of a sudden. And sometimes you'll go that one step too far and then you can back it down to where you get that good trace. So here, all I need is to trace the outer edge because we're gonna print it. I just need a cut line for the outside of that pineapple. So then I'm just going to select trace outer edge and that will put a cut line around the area. And again, you can go over to your send screen and you'll be able to see that you have that cut line that you've just created. So that's one way to easily tell. So now I'm ready to print and I'm gonna say file and print that. And again, you know, we're ready to make sure that you're printing it to the printer that you're going to use. And once that's printed, then we'll put it on our silhouette mat and get ready for a test cut. The next thing, since we have our image printed, we can, if you want to worry, if you're worried about the bleed line, another thing that you can do is an inset. So if you go over to your offset panel, select, you're gonna do internal offset and you want just a very thin line. And as you change the numbers, you're gonna see a change in your cut lines and that way you can get it to cut right inside of that area. So that is using that internal offset. Now we can go over to our send screen. You're gonna see on here two sets of cut lines. It's okay, that way you can really see the difference when you're cutting. You could select one and tell it no cut or just to let it cut. I like letting it cut, that way I can get that thin cut line. And again, to do that test cut, I can manually move my test cut to do that. So I'm gonna hit send and do my test cut. And you're gonna notice now I'm weeding and I did not get that perfect test cut, which is great, that's fine. It gives me information and I can make some changes. That's the purpose of a test cut to make sure you know what your cut settings are before you ruin this whole project. So I'm gonna put that back in my cutter and I'm gonna go up to a seven on my force. And you notice I'm changing my force. I did not change my blade depth. I still have it on that heat transfer smooth. And I don't think that it needed a full blade change, it needed a force change. So I'm gonna go to seven and do another test cut and let that cut. And now we'll weed that. And you'll see that that is a perfect test cut. So that's the purpose and you'll hear me say test cut, test cut, 
test cut always three times say that so that you remember to do that and this is a perfect example of why we do that test cut so now we're ready to cut and hit send now that i've shown you how to do that we've manually created our cut lines let's go back to that first design and I'm gonna show you how to print that out and cut those contour lines. Here we go. Now, all I need to do is print. So I am going to go file and print and make sure that you select the printer that you're gonna be using for that project and then hit print. So then after we've printed that design, we'll get ready to send it to cut. And this is a feature that I feel like people don't use and that's the test cut. And if we just hit test cut, it's possible it could cut in our lines that we don't wanna cut in those crosshairs. So we can manually tell it where to go just by using the arrows by the test and we can move that and then hit test and that will not be in your crosshairs so everybody remember to do a test cut okay that test cut worked out great so now we are ready to cut and we want to make sure that we have cut edge and send to the cutter And you'll notice that I always weed mine before I take it out of the mat, the mat out of the machine. That way, if I had any errors, I could still fix it by cutting again. But this is a perfect cut. And you can now see that little area that I'm weeding off. And that will show you that inset. And that gives me no white marks, beautiful print and cut.